quite some time ago, there was this little boy. He used to be amazed by the world. He would ask questions about nature and how everything worked. He even used to wonder what his own future would look like, even though he was only 15 years old. He was, he was on his never-ending quest of discovery. He was a born scientist, a little man inspired by rationality, as he never really understood religion anyway, as he, would just, uh, as he just would have answers that he wouldn't be able to question. He much rather had questions that he wouldn't be able to answer. A still very small man with fairly big dreams. However, this all changed when his friend never made it back from a school trip. He felt alone and forgotten, battling his way through the current of emotions left him heartbroken. And he locked himself up in a godforsaken room, hoping that someone would finally answer his questions. While the little boy was stuck in his own mind, he eventually lost his way. Lost in his own ideas and thoughts. Lost in his own questions. He was so afraid that he would have to lose someone else someday, but he just couldn't stop thinking. This little boy was me. And I will always, and I was scarred for life ever since that day. I had always been a boy that lived in the moment while always keeping the future in mind. But I couldn't mentally handle death because it was a subject that I had no grasp on. Ever since that day, I sought after the purpose in life. A reason for me not to give up, but to keep on fighting. However, as for my fellow agnostics and atheists, Life seemed quite meaningless, with no real goal to accomplish. I mean, in the past, people had to worry about their survival, getting enough food and water and sleep, reproducing as much as possible, and finally not getting numbed by lions. People spent their entire days getting through those same days. And when we finally managed to build societies, we created religion as a reason for us to exist. I'm not saying that religion is bad or fake, really just believe whatever you want. But for me, after what I had to go through, it just wasn't enough anymore. It's quite funny actually. Once you take away our worries, our basic worries of like food, water and sleep, purpose is once again laid into our own hands. And we all seek some sort of meaning anyway. Some do this by finding love or seeking strength in religion. Basically being happy. Many people nowadays believe that if they just finish their school education, get a good job, make some money, drive a nice car, and buy a big house, they will miraculously find money, uh, find happiness. And nothing will ever hurt again. <laughs> Evidently, it's not that simple. If you ever tried being a human being, you will notice that this is not how happiness works, ever. Um, it's quite funny actually that um, je moet begrijpen de foto's die zijn weer vastgelopen hè? dus hij, hij zit enorm goed te improviseren dit is sowieso onze prijswinner van vanavond want de techniek uh, loopt vast oh ja. this is not how happiness works You have to set yourself... Uh, I again started to feel normal again when I started to do something that I enjoy, like playing football. And I found love again, which didn't last long actually, but it made me realize that there's no such thing as a guide to happiness or a guide to meaning. You can't just eat five chocolate eggs, learn to play the accordion, get a job as a waiter in a shitty Italian restaurant here in Leiden and be happy. It's actually a lot more complicated than that. I learned that's actually a route that you have to take yourself. I probably wouldn't have given this speech today if I was the only one with experience with this internal conflict. Rather so, one of my best friends is now even now recovering from a mental illness and is still finding it hard to talk. So I guess I'll tell you what I told him. Depression isn't something of the day. People have struggled with this issue for centuries now. The thing is, if one actually pursues some sort of uh, individual meaning, that's great. If not, 
entire t entire lifetimes could be spent, and many have been spent doing nothing about it. Um, the game of life starts so randomly. And if you ever ask someone what we are doing here, nobody seems to have an answer. Pretending like you being a sentient meatball on a huge flying rock through a never-ending space vacuum isn't something to get confused about, it's just ridiculous. Just play the game of life where, honestly, nobody knows what they're doing. Everybody shits and honestly, nobody knows what they're doing. Just make the best of this once-in-a-lifetime journey. That's it. Rant's over. Good luck. <laughs>